Thank you very much for inviting me. I am very much delighted to join you. Um, what I'm going to say is that uh, the country, uh, the world is under the first global energy crisis. That is what uh, Fatih Biro, my successor at the IEA, has been saying. Uh, because IEA was created under the first oil shock in 1974, but it's not an oil shock now. It's gas, natural gas shock. It's a cry, uh, coal is under crisis, a renewable energy, etc. So nuclear is also under the discussion. So it's a all energy related crisis is happening. What's the solution for that? So now all the countries is very much concerned about energy security. How to secure the, uh, the supply of natural gas or oil or coal because the price went sky high, skyrocketing. But uh, the Russian invasion to Ukraine certainly created this uh, problem. But uh, the solution is in the decarbonization. That is what Europe is uh, concentrating the power by moving from the fossil fuel to the renewable energy using more hydrogen or more the long-term investment in the fusion you know this new innovation is the final solution and uh, those countries who cannot really uh, match these challenges may be the losers the winners are those countries who invested for the future the Russia, for example, could be the least prepared for this kind of change because uh, uh, they don't have the investment from the West, uh, no technologies from the West. Um, they have to spend the money for the war and brain drain is happening. So while the Europe is moving that direction, the United States is the private sector is moving that direction. Uh, Saudi Arabia even think the hydrogen could be the solution to avoid the stranded acetization of their oil. So how Japan can prepare for this kind of shock is what we have learned in the first oil shock was to use more nuclear power, more efficiency and other uh, sources than oil. Now, Unfortunately, after Fukushima accident, our old, almost all of the nuclear power plant shut down. We started some of them, we started some of them, but not enough. If we can restart the shutdown uh, nuclear power plant, we can save a lot of natural gas and we can uh, re-export re it or return it to the European countries who are under the pressure of moving away from Russian gas. So, yes, the energy crisis, we need all the possible solutions. There's no silver bullet, but we have to use nuclear power, the renewable energy, efficiency and international collaboration. We have to have a global identity of the policy makers and politics to solve this kind of situation. And I'm very much delighted to join all of you and discuss these issues. Thank you very much.